So why is carb counting important? Okay, we've got two very similar looking meals here, both nice big full plates of food. The question is, do we think they have a similar amount of carbs in them? Well, they certainly both contain carbs. We have the pasta on this one. We've got the potatoes and Yorkshire pudding over here, which of course is made of flour and milk and has quite high carb content itself. The question is, how different is the actual carb count for each meal? Well, let's reveal the numbers and see. Wow, I'm not sure what you were expecting there, but I certainly wasn't expecting that. 82 carbs versus 38 carbs. That's quite a big difference, isn't it? Well, basically, the pasta here is making the meal more than twice the carb count in comparison to the roast dinner. And that's going to have quite an impact when we're looking at how much insulin we would need to bolus for each meal. The thing we're wanting you to think about here is if we take a fixed dose of insulin, that is to take the same amount at meal times without considering the amounts of carbs in the meal, the blood glucose levels are going to be very different in relation to these two meals. This can make you feel very frustrated, it can give the feeling of not being in control, and often this can make you feel like your blood tests are up and down without a pattern and not being in target. And of course, this isn't good for your long-term health either. This helps to illustrate the whole idea of carb counting, which is of course to be able to get a steady blood glucose level within the target range. It's going to be impossible to get blood glucose in the target range without counting carbs accurately, as is demonstrated by the difference in the sizes of these two meals. It's only when you get carbs correct, when the insulin carb ratio is right for that meal, that the blood glucose will be in the target range. If we make a guess without counting carbs, then we're very likely to end up giving either too much insulin, in the case of it being 38 carbs when you thought 82, or too little insulin when you think it's about 38 carbs, but it's actually 82. These are very large variations. This is the difference accurate carb counting can make. If you get it accurate, then you have a much greater chance of achieving the balance and getting blood glucose levels you're aiming for.